Well, hello, gang. How you doing? Uh, I apologize if things are kind of windy. Windy day out here. I'm at a local QT station here in Dallas and ready to fire up the next episode of Donnie Sports Legit or Should It Quit? This is, in case you haven't heard, this is the show where I test items, see if they have what it takes, see if they're legit, or should they quit. Now, the first episode went well. We tested out a uh, speaker that uses no wires or Bluetooth, and uh, it works, performs nicely. A lot of people ask about it. So, hopefully I get a good response with this item, and uh, it's a, as I say, it's a subject that people like no matter who you talk to because we all have to have it we're talking about food yes yummy yummy food and uh and on the subject of snacks now when it comes to snacks no company uh does it better than frito-lay after all they're based here in dallas and they're the ones that invented the corn chip and the uh potato chip and on a side note, uh, a guy named Jack Kilby from Texas Instruments invented the microchip. Of course, you can't eat one of those, but they have a function, and practically everything that you use uses a microchip. But we'll talk about that later. But anyway, we have an item here from Frito Lay, and really, you don't know, they make Lays and Fritos, and they tend to experiment with different flavors. I fell in love with the Barbecued Fritos back in 1967. I draw as a good companion when I watched them smoke. But they also invented a few other things. They made Doritos, Tostitos, and a nice cheesy uh, item. You know, every time you eat it, you have uh, some sort of uh, orange residue on your hands, but it's real good. It's called the Cheeto. And the Cheetos have been around for years. And, you know, they had your regular Cheetos and have your Puffs. Lately, they've been uh, adding the fire to it. That the smoking flaming hot uh, Cheetos will make your head explode. No, they don't make, they don't make your head explode. It just kind of gives you the uh, extra kick. And just in time for spring, they came out with this. Kind of curious to see how they taste. It is called the Sweeto. Yes, it's a spin on the Cheetos and uh, what it is is cinnamon sugar puffs. So I'm going to open up this bag here. It's not open. I haven't had any of these before this. So I'm kind of curious to see how these things taste. It's cinnamon sugar. So it should be good. I like cinnamon sugar. See what these things have. Let me have another. You know, with the name Cheeto, you would think it'll have like a whole lot of cheese in it. And you do, you will taste the head of cheese. But also, now I apologize, some truck is beginning to turn into the parking lot. You also get the, uh, the uh, taste of cinnamon and sugar. I mean, the cheese doesn't dominate over the cheese, cinnamon and sugar, but on the other hand, the cinnamon and sugar doesn't dominate over the cheese. It always has a nice balance. And it tastes pretty good. Really nice. You know, this, this could be addictive. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, a full bag. It kind of stuck it real nice in here. Now eat more. Mm. That's real good, man. Mm. <laughs> these Fritos, these Fritos really get it done. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, these are great. Mm. Yeah, these are wonderful. Hey, you folks at Fritos, there, you know, you guys know what you're doing. Now yeah, you really do. I mean. They hired this little snake rip. Hope Real Lady is okay with this, let me tell him. They hired well known chefs around the Dallas Fort Worth area to consult on new flavors that they want to use on their uh, snacks. And, uh, you know, you can see the influence. I mean, this is not the only 
We do, we do three on. I, I, I forgot to mention, I also make ruffles. And ruffles has this uh, flavor called queso, which is, which is like not hot, there's cheese, but enough spice in there to note the difference, which is real good. Just like these. Mm. Uh, we're tasty too, man. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Uh, you see my, I can just get my going. Hey, we're glad to have you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ooh, wow. Okay, with these Fritos. Now, I think the Frito Lay scored a touchdown with these. And, uh, you can still get these. I guess. I hope they're not like a limited time only item. This one they should have all the time. All the time. I got these at the uh, QT, which is the store right behind me. By the way, they have tables outside, so it looks real good. So, uh, oh, by the way, so you want to know, does this item, is it legit or should it quit? Ding! It's legit! They got what it takes. Mm. They just made like the large size for $3 on these. You know, this is like, I know it may be a tester, but they just make the large size. And maybe just two, two for three <laughs> at, at the store. I mean, these are good. These are super, super. Oh. Help me, I got keep on going. There you have it. Cheetos, the sweet spinoff of Cheetos. I give it the approval. And if you find this, get like two, three, four bags full. I say, why, why have popcorn when you can have this to watch a movie? Mm. These are great, man. These are awesome. Awesome stuff. So, gotta do it for the uh, Donnie Sport Legit or Should It Quit show. We got more items I'm gonna test out, see if they have what it takes, see if they're legit or should they quit. This item, they, Freedom Bay, Freedom Bay, you better not quit making these. These are good. These are the bomb, man. They're the bomb. And we come on back, we got more stuff ahead. Here on the Donnie Sport 17 Network. Yeah, yeah, good for these. Mm. These, these are good. These are real, real good. Oh. Mm. Don't eat them too fast, or you're you miss out all the good flavor that's point that's going around the mouth. It's, it's dead. Mm. Good, 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 good.